everyone, it's Tony, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to make your own Lego marble maze. That sounds crazy, I know, but I promise it's gonna be loads of fun. So what do we need? Well, we need, of course, our big box of Lego. Get all the Lego that you have, because you don't know how many pieces you're going to need. You're also going to want to get a pencil or a pen and a piece of paper. Let's go get those things and let's all meet back here in a moment. Well done, you've got everything. Now it's time to turn a simple block like this into a maze like this. But we won't get anywhere without planning. So the first thing we're going to do is with our pen or pencil and our paper is draw the shape of our base. Mine is a rectangle, that's right. So we're gonna draw the shape of our base. Yours might be a square or a rectangle, but let's draw that first on our piece of paper. So let's get started. I'm using a pencil and a ruler to draw the rectangle shape of my base. If yours is a square, then draw a square. But if yours is a rectangle, draw a rectangle. Now I'm adding in where my start point's going to be and labelling it. And then I'm adding in where my end piece is going to be and labelling that too. Now I'm drawing out little lines that are going to become my design. This is so that I know exactly where I'm going to put Lego pieces. I don't have to stick to my plan, but it's good just to have an idea. There I am labelling the edges. And now it's time to start adding the paths in the middle that the marble is going to travel down. When it comes to mazes, we want to make sure there's dead ends and areas that our marble will not be able to get through. So it's important that we keep going back and checking if we've made dead ends, made it a little bit tricky and made sure that we have a path that goes all the way through. So this is a design that I'm going for. I've had a few paths made and I'm just making them a little bit wider and thicker than you would normally so that I can see how many blocks I think I might need. This also makes it easier for when you're building and you can see where your pieces are gonna go and how many you can fit in that space. So we keep going and going and going until all of our paper is filled up. Now I'm labeling in where my dead ends are going to be just so that I can remember when I'm building my maze. Now I'm drawing little dashes and then filling them out to be arrows so I know exactly where my start and finish point is. And there we are, that's my finished design. How does yours look? Now that we've drawn our plans, let's think about how we're going to put it all together. As you can see here, I chose to have red for my starting point and yellow for my finishing points. That's how I know where my start is and where my finish is. Now I'm going to show you exactly how I built this in a moment and you can follow along or you can pause and build your own and come back. It's up to you. Let's get building then. So here's my base and there's the red pieces that indicate the start and the yellow pieces that indicate the end. I'm now going to go and add all my other pieces in. So here's all my Lego that I've got so far and I'm going around the edges to make sure that my marble cannot fall off any of the sides. Some of the pieces may need to be changed as they might not fit or they might not be the right length. It's all about trying and seeing which pieces fit better. Once you have gone all the way around your edges, it's time to start putting in your paths. Remember to look back at your plan in case you forget which way you want them to go. Here I am making the first few paths. You might have to get extra Lego as you may be running out. Keep going with adding in all of your different paths until you have reached your end point. You're gonna see me going through all of my different paths. There's no need to rush. It may look like I'm going quickly, but I promise I've only sped it up for the video. 
I'm not really going this fast. I spent about 10 minutes building my entire maze all the way through. So take as long as it needs and just remember that it doesn't have to be perfect and you can make changes all the time, just like I am here. Now that we're coming to the end of my maze being built, we want to just put in those final finishing touches, ensuring that we have all of our paths and that they all go in different directions. So here I am just taking my finger and running it along all the different paths that I have and making changes where needed. You could do this too, or you can do this with the marble. It's completely up to you. Now it's time for a test run. Take the marble and let's go. Let's see how mine works. You may have to give it a push because Lego's got all those bumpy bits on it and it might not want to move. So let's see how mine does. So close to the end. It can be quite tricky to get it to go all the way through and it's okay if it goes flying off at the end. Well done, you've built your Lego maze. It looks so good. Now, don't worry if you don't have a really long piece like I do. You could also build it in all different shapes and sizes. I've got one that's quite small and quite simple with only a few little dead ends. Then I've also got one here that's a little bit more tricky. It's a square one and you could fall off on the sides. And here's the start and here's the exit. But we've got a dead end here and we've got all these places that our marble could fall out of. Should we give it a try together? Oh, oh, I almost fell off. Oh, 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 I did it. And my marble fell on the floor. Oopsie. But well done everyone, you did amazing today and keep building these marble mazes. Who knows what you could come up with? Bye.